No! <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm Chosen Architect, and this is my modded adventure. <laughs> Now today is world download day. That means you have the ability to download this world all handled over in the Discord if you're a supporter of any tier, whether that is via Discord or here on YouTube or even a Patreon or Twitch subscriber. All of those ways are ways of gaining access to those world downloads. So that's something you're looking interested in. Be sure to check that out and download today. Fair warning, if you're squeamish, today's episode might be a trigger because today, we're venturing into the rats mod. However, though, before we get into the rats mod 100%, there's a few things that I want to do. One of those being, I want to build another courtyard over here. And this is going to be kind of an area dedicated to rats. So without further ado, let's get building. Ah, and just like that, the new area is ready to go for rats. And you may be wondering, why are you going with a tree for the rats mod? Uh, and to that, I will say, well, uh, I want to actually hang cages from this. Uh, but first, we have to find some rats. Now, there's a couple of ways we can go about doing this. And um, one of those ways is by going to a village. We can go to a village and actually find materials that allow us to sort of create this platform that can summon rats. It's good early on, later on could potentially pose some problems. So let's find a village that has this stuff. Now, here is a perfect example of what I'm looking for. This right here, garbage piles. Um, now it does have traps on here, which is kind of interesting that this is stuff that they basically spawn on and they're essentially killing them. <laughs> and there's also a rat attractor here as well which is another thing that you can use to potentially get rats to show up. Very cool. So we have this, and then of course all of the garbage piles, which uh, have their own little effects associated to them. And then you have a chance of also getting plastic out of this. So I wanna grab all of this, and I think we can just simply break it all, and we get to gather it. And I think this can be also combined together to produce compressed garbage, which doubles the amount of rats that you get with these piles. Um, so if you are producing more of these, which you can buy from a villager, by the way, then you'll be all set once you have this up and running. Now, I don't see the building exactly for the rats mod over here, but I do know where one is at. Now, if you remember this village right here that we actually found early on, I didn't really have the stuff for, uh, but right here, the trash cans, these are things that I am definitely going to want to take. So I will take those. And then there's cages in here and the cages have... Well, animals in them. Um, I think we can use a pick. Or we might need a pick in order to break these. We might be able to use our hands. There we go. And we can let the cats out of the cage. <laughs> uh, yes, but there was a lot of loot and stuff that we had already grabbed. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more of this. And then try my best to set these guys free. I do want the cages. However, we're going to end up making more of them. Because once we get our first rat... We're going to use the cage to be able to make more rats. Well, more rats in that particular way where we're not, we don't have to go out looking for more of them. 
But yes, this would be a nice little building to find because there's all kinds of goodies in here from the rats mod. Now, I think this is going to be a really powerful item here. So I should be able to put a villager in. Oh, sorry, not in the world. There's a villager. And then put a trash can in here. And this should change it to a pet shop owner. <laughs> Uh, that's interesting. Now, if we cycle through trades, you can see that a lot of like modded items or mob drops and stuff like that uh, can be exchanged. Uh, I really like the idea of exchanging emeralds for cheese. So that's pretty cool. But there are other ways that we can make cheese. Now to make milk, I'm going to pop into our Drigme farm here, which has been just going crazy at all of the farming of the items. It's uh, almost too much. I might have to end up turning this thing off. Because uh, it is producing a lot. But um, down here, we can go ahead and set up a few cauldrons. How about a cauldron here, a cauldron uh, here, and maybe one over here. This is just more decoration. But if we take our containment jar of a cow, you can actually milk the cows and put the milk inside of the cauldrons. And over time, it doesn't take too, too long. It will turn into cheese, full cheese blocks. And these blocks can be converted into cheese this way as well. So now that I have a little over a stack of cheese, uh, we can now start hunting for rats because rats do require quite a bit of cheese in order to tame them. And the ones that you see in the caves and stuff like that, those are going to be ones that you can just stumble upon and find. Or you could potentially get them to spawn on that, uh, that earth, right? That garbage pile, right? And I'm wondering if we have enough, can we double? So spawns double the amount of rats um, than garbage piles. So I think it would be better to potentially make this stuff and use that to spawn the rats. Uh, it, it looks uh, not as good in my opinion, but um, I don't know if we just need to like place blocks of this randomly about maybe like three or four or something like that. It kind of works like sand. It looks like. And maybe we'll get lucky and uh, we'll get ourselves some rats that spawn in here. That That's the goal. That's the goal. Now, we should be able to generate more of this garbage by apparently clicking blocks into this. And it does require blocks. So we can just simply right click on here with a bunch of that gravel that we've been producing. And yeah, we generate garbage piles. The more the merrier. Yeah, I definitely want to add some more of these. I really think this like fits so much better because this actually has a uh, a much nicer texture that actually makes it look like garbage. Now, while I went on rats to spawn, you may be wondering like Chosen, why are you even getting into rats? Like what, what does the rats mod have to offer? And it's actually kind of cool. The The mod basically is like a tech mod, but the rats are like the, the things that do the moving about of items, energy and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, it's basically just a run-of-the-mill tech mod, but you can decorate your rats, and I just think that's adorable. Now, so far, I haven't gotten super lucky but uh, with the spawns, but I did see this bat while I'm down here, and I'm hoping I can find a rat underground. Come on, I just want to I want to collect the bat, because we can put this in a containment jar and farm reliquary drops off of them. Come here. Why is this so hard? Oh my gosh. Uh, the, the, come here. <laughs> this is this is so hard. There we go. <laughs> Finally, I got it. Ooh, on the next floor, there's literally a rat here. Okay. Um, little fella. Okay, he smells the cheese. I just want to toss it over there. Turn off my magnet. Okay, you're in the hole. You you gonna take it? Do I have to right click it on it? I should be able to just toss the cheese. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh. Don't, don't do that. Get away from the water. No. This rat is going to unalive. No. No. <laughs> I can't believe this. Get up! Oh, thank goodness. Dude. Out of all the places you can go, why are you doing this? What is going on right now? I need this guy tamed. Now. 
Go the, go the other way. Go the other way. Run away from me. Get away from this water. Oh, thank goodness. Go to literally any other corner. I know he's scared of me. Can I, can I shift? I think I can hold shift. There we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing. Oh, he just walks around with it. Yes. Okay. That made him happy. Still not tamed. If we can feed him some more. It might take a little bit of time. What a journey this is just to get one rat. Holy smokes. It does look like it's sort of like a cat. How like cats slowly walk up to you. When they realize what you have. I feel like this one's that way. Yeah, don't go to the water. Let's not do that. Oh, there is a piece of... Oh, yeah. Take that. Here, take take, take this. Here, take, take this. There you go. Oh, goodness. Is this, how many, I wonder how many it's going to take to get this thing tamed. Hopefully not too many. Oh, it grabbed it. I do see like the smoke particles and then realize this is just, 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 just toss cheese. Oh, it like rubs its nose. Oh, the animations are so good. Even though it's such a small little like thing, it's it's really adorable. I, <laughs> I love it. I don't want to lose it, but the rat is up here. It moved up to this floor. Where did it go? Oh, no, I, tell me I did not just lose this rat. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, good, good, good. Come on. You've got to be tamed sooner than later. This is like the hardest part of getting into this mod. Another... And then I have a goblin. A goblin after me. You know what? Just to make this easier... I'm going to make sure that this, this mouse can't go anywhere again. Whew. Mouse. Like, I'm calling it a mouse now. And this goblin trader is just getting in the way right now. Oh, we got it. Oh, an unlikely alliance. Perfect. So this is now our friend, and it is a male rat. Uh, so we can set it to stay here. Uh, wander, follow me. Definitely want it to follow me. Oh, this is awesome. And then I should be able to shift and right click. And now I have... A rat on my head that I can carry with me back home. Oh, goodness. We still need one more rat, though. Technically, we need a female rat. Now, to get the little rat off of our head, which is actually under our hat, which is kind of funny. Like, it, or no, it's riding on top of our hat. Uh, we shift and punch the air, and now we have access to a rat. We definitely want to make sure it is set to stay here for right now. Uh, which should just have it set. Um, so stay here and behave. D don't go anywhere. I'll be back. All right. I ended up making something for you. And <laughs> yes, <laughs> I have a little mage buddy now. Oh, he's adorable. Okay. Now to put him in a safe location, of course, I could hold on to the rat. But I do want to put the rat in a safe location. We can turn this into a sort of multi-block cage here. You can see just like this. And make it uh, roughly uh, yeah, any size, I believe, like that. And then we need to put it on our head. Which, by the way, just is a, a soup too adorable. Too adorable right now. I, I can't. I can't with it. You <laughs> Look at him. Oh, goodness. Um, but yes, we should be able to just right-click. And that puts our rat inside of our cage. And then I want a rat bottle on here to make sure it has some water, which is just a cage decoration. But uh, for right now, this should be a safe place. And I think to be able to pull the rat out, I simply shift punch or shift right click. Nope, that pulls that off. Let's uh, right click. You just right click and then that will pull the rat. Oh, it's so good. So good. <laughs> And it stays in this nice safe area. So I managed to find another rat. It is over there. I do see it. I see it off in the distance and I hope it's a female. But I have to deal with this first. So they do spawn in darkness. So creating a little area like this. Oh, there's two rats. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. I want to try and get this closed off so they can't like jump this area. 
Oh, they'll be able to jump here. Let's clear that. Oh boy, I don't want them to be able to get through. Did they just eat a spider eye? What? Okay. So they should be fine, so long as no mob messes with them. Oh man, yeah. Oh wait, there's three rats. Because there's a rat down here as well. <gasps> so we're bound to get... We're bound to get, like, the stuff we need, right? The, we've got to get a female out of, out of all three of these. Oh, I hope. I think for one of these, I definitely want to yoink it if I can. Yes, we can take this and we should be able to actually farm drops off of it. It sounds kind of ridiculous, but these guys actually have some really good drops that are worth farming with the Drigme. Ooh, I just got that one. That one's now tamed. So I just need to basically get this one. And what are you? You're a male. Hopefully this is a female. I think you might be able to tell this one's slightly greener than this. This is a brown rat. This is a greenish color rat. So that's probably a female. Well, and it, it's, it's now tamed. And nope, it is 100% a male. They are both males. That is interesting. I think just for the lulls, we should just go ahead and try to tame this rat. I think that'd be a good idea. By the way, you can have three rats on you, one on each shoulder, and you can also have one that is on top of your head. So <laughs> that's pretty darn cool. Come on, take the take the bait. I really need a female. So this one is tamed and it's a female. Oh, thank God we got a female one. And I'm going to go ahead and set you to follow me and... Oh, nice. Now we have three rats and one's a female, which is perfect because that's the only way that we can breed rats. And it may sound weird, but that is something we need to do. And I need to go get out of here before we get blown up. Oh, could you imagine I lose both of these due to a creeper explosion? After grinding for these things? I would be, I would be frustrated. I don't think they take damage while they're riding me. So now that I have all of my rats, let's go ahead. Oh, I did not mean to punch you. So sorry. Let's go ahead and make sure they stay here. Uh, I don't know how to get them to like hold their command because when you pick them up, they just, they change. This is our only female. So I'm thinking what I do is I pick it up and I simply put it inside the cage here. And then we add the breeding lantern to the cage. It says release zero rats from the cage. Release them from the cage. Okay, so they're here. So put this in. Oh, okay. So we might need to just simply have a single cage for this. For these guys. So we'll put them right here. And I'll put that in. And then we'll make sure to put these two rats in. Oh, and there we go. As you can see. The little, the little rats right there. Perfect. Um, and then I might want to grab uh, some more of this cage because I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to want to expand this cage. Otherwise, we're probably going to run into problems where there's just not enough room for the rats. But look, there's like little, they're like little, like four, four by two pixels, <laughs> which I mean, to be fair, that's sort of what like a mouse baby looks like. Now, apparently after a day, these two rats, these little babies, will grow and uh, they'll turn into uh, full grown ones, um, which is perfect. And I will take you and you and I should be able to just add them to the cage. I do want to change up how this cage is formatted here. There we go. And yeah, can add them to the cage. Oop. Did I put both of them or just one? It's honestly hard to know. I'll just do one at a time now. <laughs> I'm learning as I go. But yeah, so now that would be able to uh, give us three more rats potentially. Oh, nice. I see. By default, the current command is set to stay here. This would just mean we would change it. So to wander, we just want to make sure it's set to stay there. Oh, nice. So these rats should stay here. Um, and uh, these should stay safe in the pen because mobs can potentially attack these guys. Now I am back down here because I wanted to grab another wild rat and this just seems like a good place that they all spawn apparently. But there we go, so we got a wild rat and I want to be able to turn this one in and put it into a jar for the Drigme to the farm. So yeah, I definitely want to get the rat in there and that should go in the containment jar, perfect. That's gonna be powerful. 
And then I also needed to get the bat in here, which is another weird thing, but that should go perfect. <laughs> now that I have the rats, I want to kind of try and put them to work if that's something that's possible. And one of the upgrades that is really nice is allowing them to sort of smell items for you. And my goal is to sort of have a, uh, a little farm here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a botany pot. And that botany pot is going to have trees growing in it. It's going to have a sapling growing in it. So let me put some dirt in here and get a sapling going. So what I want is the rat to take the items out of this barrel and to smelt them. Um, and I think I can do that. I, uh, so what we're going to need is a cheese staff. And we basically assign uh, what this is going to do by clicking on the block. So it says the staff is not bound to a rat. So let's go ahead and bind it to a rat. This is the rat here. And it says it's now bound to the rat. And if I click here, you can see deposit items in barrel from the north. Take items from barrel, which is what I want it to do. And then set home point for rat to barrel. Let's go ahead and set the home point. And then we're going to also say take items from barrel. That's what I want this rat to do. This rat is going to take items. So um, let's set it to, let's see. We don't want it to do anything. Transport items. Yes, transport items. And so now it should go to its home location. And any item that builds up from our botany pot uh, as that tree starts to grow, it should put it in its inventory, which is this slot right here. Once it actually grows. Now, in the meantime, I want to create the thing from the rats mod that will allow me to smelt the items. And it may be disguised a little bit, but it is the actual chef upgrade, I believe. So I think this will let me cook. It says the upgrade will cook any held item. Once the item is cooked, they will either try to drop it in an inventory below them or simply throw it on the ground. Uh, and this upgrade also gives the rat a, uh, a skill set required for making a few set uh, delicacies. So there's like a special foods that you could have this rat technically make. Uh, but we would, we need to give that upgrade to this rat. And I don't know if it's just going to uh, drop items on the ground. But yeah, anyways, this right here requires six cakes, which is quite a bit. But we should be able to make cakes pretty easily, like just standing here. So yeah, let's go ahead and make cake. And then, of course, I'm going to need my buckets back, and then I got to rinse and repeat. By the way, making rat upgrades just require cheese, but I also, you can find them in block form uh, because these can be turned into a block as well. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and now make it. We have everything we need. And so this is going to start this process. I think I can also assign that rat an inventory um, that could potentially be like next to it. Like, for example, right here, as you can see, the, the wood is in its mouth. I love that. Let's go ahead, we already have this selected. Let's click this and deposit items in barrel from the top. Um, let's see. I think it should deposit items, though, only after it has processed the item. So let's see if it actually does that. Let's take these back out and put them here. It will smelt them, which is what it's doing right now. And hopefully it will deposit that smelted item, AKA charcoal, over here. So essentially, we've just made a rat charcoal farm. <laughs> this is so cool. Now having rats do this is all well and good, but there's a lot more that the rats mod can do. And the reason why I ended up having my Drigme farm the rats is so we can get some exclusive drops that are very nice, such as the rat paws. And well, I want to use these rats eventually to set up a quarry. That's right. Rats can dig a area out for you and put the items into an inventory, which is a quarry block. And as you can see, it requires a little bit here, such as the rat paws. And those are a pretty rare drop. But because of the way Drigmies work, they can actually farm and have a chance of getting them each time they do their harvest process. Oh, it is so good. Now, there is still one more thing I want to use on my beautiful rat over here. And that is that we need to put a top hat on him. <laughs> now our rat is beautiful. We can also name these, by the way. Oh, nice. And our rat finally, finally, after doing the breeding process, we now have this rat. Oh, it's it. it oh, it, it pops out of the cage, but it's automatically tamed. 
which is perfect. Oh, and it's a, it's a pretty color. I like that. Now, I know in reality, we've hardly even touched the surface of the rats mod, but now that we've gotten into it and we can make more rats, we can definitely start to use this to automate more and more things. It's actually a really functional mod. It is super nice. It's just disguised as, well, a rodent uh, mod. Yeah. With that said, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you learned something new. Of course, more to come from this mod in the future, because I definitely want that quarry to be set up. I want to be able to farm blocks with rats, and I think it'll be a really fun task to do so. But guys, if you did enjoy, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and be sure to get your world download if you're a supporter of any tier, no matter what platform you're on. The best platform to support from is, of course, Discord. Uh, but if Discord's not your thing, you can also check out the YouTube members, Twitch, and or Patreon if that's something you're interested in. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and it's now time to thank one of the sponsors, supporters, <laughs> of today's episode. And that amazing thanks is going to go out to... Dark Shadow over on the Discord, becoming a Discord Premium member, and supporting in one of the best ways possible. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course, if you did, be sure to click that subscribe button, like I said earlier. I thank you so much, I'll see you in the next one, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye!